Yes. Another room pops up. Oh. Can I, can I not? Oh, that's probably way back. I'm hoping that pattern is important. Interesting. So that works. How am I? Wait, am I supposed to get down? Yeah, probably. Oops. Trainer's whip for it. I kind of like the synergies as we have them now. Finally, you are here. Afra, to uh, oh, Afra. Anything you need here, unless you need a boat. That is, a massive tidal wave hit us and destroyed every ship in Afra. I remember where I left off in reading as well. Losing our boats was awful, but I feel so bad for all the people whose houses were destroyed by the tidal wave. Let me pass through. Take care of those people whose houses were destroyed by the tidal wave, but they're just, just so demanding. My wife feels so overwhelmed that she can't take it anymore. Oh, I just wish that old man would stop pestering my wife all the time. Ugh, with all these demanding house guests, I feel like I've lost control of my own house. I don't mind helping people in need, but I won't be taking taken advantage of. Aren't you thirsty, my dear? Oh, you're right, dear. I am. Sorry to bother you, but we'd like some tea. Are you talking to me? You want tea? You go f right ahead and fix it yourself. Oh. Oh, that's where it's a little tea. That's the behavior I get. I just want to get out of this in the hospital house and get back to my own sweet home. This is how a young bride treats her husband these days. Back in my day, we were never like that. Oh. Bridge. Uh, I don't need healing right now, I'm good. Right after my bulk got crushed, a group of men came by asking if I had one for sale. They were pretty swarty, like they had been like they had been sailors or something. This guy's looking for a boat, sure, we're in a hurry, I wonder why. Hey, at least I was able to unload that boat with my busted mast on them. I just can't believe a single tidal wave could cause an entire continent to move like that. But I used to be able to see Indra 
to the north of us, and it's definitely not there. Get the tidal wave knocked injury into Oceania. Is that true? Maybe. Really, it's just hard to believe, you know? Still, that would explain the massive jolt we felt right after the tidal wave hit. Finally, we made it. Who are these goons? But we're here. Oh, oh, right, the people from the desert. Where's the elder? He's coming now. I feel, are we here? I feel like we just walked 500 miles. Jolt. I'm fine. I feel like you've walked 500 more. So, this is off Rada. Madra is a pretty big place, but this town's huge. When you come down Frada to shop, Master Mayor. We're here to bring Briggs to Trampa. I know that. Then we should go straight to speak with Alfrada's mayor. We're in no shape to go to present ourselves to the mayor right now. Look, Briggs is obviously not here, and besides, we already know Piers is. Silence. Oh, the lady moved. Seems Alfreda has felt the, t the effects of the tidal wave as well. It looks like they suffered a good deal of damage. That would explain why Alfreda doesn't seem to have any boats for sale either. You know, just looking around, I get the impression they only had one boat to begin with. So you really needed a boat, the only thing, the only way to get one is just to steal it. Hmm. But wouldn't that cause quite an uproar? Which means the pirates are still here trying to get a boat. So you think we actually caught up with Briggs? No doubt about it. That's why I want to meet the mayor of Afrata before the champa seals ship. Oh yeah, I get it now. In that case, let's go see Afrata's mayor right away. Hey, um, excuse me. Where would we find the mayor of Afrata? The mayor? Dude behind there, he looks awfully sus. Let's keep going down the road, it's the last house, you can't miss it. Cool. Oh, here's the end. Do I need it? Eh. See how full our inn is? You'd think we'd be making money a hand, a hand over fist. That's not true, we just don't have the heart to charge the people who lost their homes. I don't know, to give money to all people who suffered from the tidal wave. That way, maybe the innkeeper could afford to make us better food. We're all guessing the same inn, so why is my meal so awful? At the very least, they should let us go back for seconds and not that... Oh, that stinking slop. Oh, I'm hungry, my tummy hurts, when's dinner time? I don't think I've ever had a bite of meat or fish ever since setting foot in this inn. Oh no. The innkeeper told me to use only the cheapest ingredients to help him save money. The innkeeper serves his paying guests better meals that uh, we Alfredians get. That's so cheap, I want gourmet meals too. Get money. I believe the innkeeper is renting out more rooms when we're busy like this. Alright, there's only one person staying in the room next door. Can't they just move one more person into that room, like me? I'll have to bear the discomfort of this place until our homes are repaired. Peace. I'll never forgive the mayor for failing to come to our aid when we were all suffering. I wonder what I could do to make him suffer. Oh. I guess I'm very upset with the mayor. I just hope they don't do anything rash. Why do we all have to be cooped up in such a small room? How am I supposed to sleep with Grandpa grinding his teeth all night? Pop's been looking around and he says the mayor keeps all his treasure underground. He says it's south of the palace, but that's all I know about it. Interesting. Oop. 
Jesus. Ooh, I ain't good. That guy looks like the mayor of Madra. Must I come here looking for Briggs? I better go tell the others. What's your problem? What are you, some sort of freak? Well, what? You got a problem with me? When you get off invading my personal space, huh? Scream, stink breath. Oh. I was like, oh yeah, I was about to tell, tell him about the mayor of Madra. Interesting. Those people that just came through look totally exhausted. You don't suppose they pass through the Yampi desert to get here, don't you? Do you? This thing looked like an okay guy, and I'd love to let you through, but I just can't. I mean, if I let you in, then I have to let everyone in, right? I'm sorry, but I want that wouldn't be fair. You want to see the mayor? Sorry, but he's meeting with some visitors from Magic right now. Maybe you can see him once he's finished with them. Hey, my job. I always have to be so tough and secretive around people. Deep down inside, all I really want to do is read them uh, some of my poetry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Partner's always in such a bad mood. Maybe I should bake him a cake. Cakey. It's so boring here. Why does anyone do anything criminal? Take seal the key. Take this void. I don't know why there's so many oxiders in Alfrada now. It's so, but it's bound to mean trouble. Yes. Really needed. Those guys who brought the boat look kind of shabby, but I hear to pay the mayor a whole lot of cash for it. I don't care if it was broken, the mayor shouldn't have sold the, only, the town's only boat. Oh. Can I move this by any chance? Don't worry about that later. was ruined by the tidal wave so kids aren't allowed there anymore. But all I want to do is to see what kind of wind is blowing off in the sea. I mean, guys, you're here because you want to buy a canoe, right? Sorry, but it probably backlogged the pre-orders. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be up late finishing these as, as it is. The boat at the wharf uses a sail, so it's more efficient than any galley. Or galley? Galley? Since the mass is broken, it's not going anywhere. What a waste. Where'd the mayor go and sell our boat to a bunch of foreigners? I know, it's got a bro broken mass, but come on. Got a ton of strangers coming in lately. The only boat spared by the tidal wave is in the newfangled ship. It's a newfangled ship that catches the wind to sail. How is that like new technology to these people? Oh, but whatever. The thing is, the mass. Oh, well, I guess we did use oars across the cargo sea in the first game. The thing is, the mass that holds up the sail got snapped apart. Afrata. It's no use. Matches will budge no matter how many people we get to help us. We'd have to get all this junk off the mast first. If we just de get some decent footing, we could have that thing clear in no time. There's more to it than that, though. We should have to do some something about that rope over there. I'm telling you, that thing would be a piece of cake once we get the boat we could use. Oh yeah, a piece of cake except for that huge rock over there. Oh yeah, the rock. How are we supposed to get that mess from under that thing? It's huge. There's no way we could be gonna be able to move it by ourselves. Well, out of the way, we can't do anything until Zach finishes the canoe. Interesting. What's your problem? You're new in town, aren't you? 
Probably curious about the ship here, huh? Oh, it's a sailing ship. Wind is the only thing that'll make it move. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, well, I think how surprised we were to find that Alfredus had learned how to build a sh sailing ships. I suppose the age where everyone could sail to sea was bound to come someday. Like stuck there. If you could just raise the mass, you could head back to Champa. Pay big money for this ship. It's ours now, so don't go go crying about it. I don't see if you guys are crying about it. I'm sure everything to mind me. Mayor of Madra here? Yes, sir. How did he know we came to Alfrada? He knew we needed a ship, so he knew we, we went east. It seems pretty easy to me. Ah, well, yeah. You put it that way, it doesn't make sense. We're looking to find the mayor of Alfrada. Was you hoping the mayor would tell him where we are? You'll probably tell the Alfredans we're pirates too, huh? Pirates? That seems a bit a little unfair. What do you mean? We, we are pirates, aren't we? I mean, we're taking all sorts of stuff we did that didn't belong to us. It's all because everyone in Champa would starve otherwise. We didn't have any choice. Uh, and even then, it's never a lot. What's well, not? Stuff we take. We never take too much from any one town. Uh, yeah, I guess not. Then why do you think that is? Or why? Because you never can tell how these wealthy towns will react. It's too risky, right? Yeah, that's why we don't deserve for anything from Afrata. Right, that's why we avoid the risky towns or just take what we need from the others. See, that's why you Captain Briggs, you got brains coming out of your ears. <laughs> There's nothing brainy about that. Did you hear that? It sounded like a girl. Who's out there? What do you think you do? What do you think you're doing? You know how someone has been falsely imprisoned for your crimes? Here, what's your point? You have to come, you have to come with us to test that man's innocence. Why would I want to do something like that? Oh, oh, I was hoping we could avoid any ugliness, but we, you leave us no choice. Bring you in against your will if you must, but either way, you're coming with us. Isn't that right, Felix? Good for you. Let's teach these guys a lesson. We don't stand a chance. We're hardy criminal types. We eat punks like you for breakfast. March yourselves. Self-righteous little brats. <laughs> you're the ones with a lesson to learn. 